Hi, this is Tobias Forge from Ghost. You're listening to Heavy Demons Radio Show. So, dear Tobias, you stated that the idea for Impera came from Timothy Parsons' book, The Rules of Empire. What can you tell us about this? And have you ever read Isaac Asimov's Foundation Saga about the fall of empires? Uh, no, I have not read it. But the, the idea itself was not necessarily inspired by... Uh, his the book that we were just mentioning. Okay. Uh, it was is it was just seeing the title that gave me the idea. I was in a in a bookstore in Seattle, okay. and I was already working on different themes for different records. And then I saw the book, just the the the, the spine of it, mm -hmm. and it said the rule of empires, and why they always fall apart or something like that. And that's when I came up with the idea. Yeah. Right there and then I was like, ah, I'm gonna write a record about empires, which is gonna be very different from the record that I also had in mind, which was about the plague. Okay. Um, so I bought the book, but the idea from, from of making the record came was not came just from the title, okay. because I already knew beforehand what it was gonna be about or what, how I wanted to make the record. Yeah. And um, How was to reunite with uh, Klaus Odlund and also working with Andy Wallace for the production of the record? Uh, pleasurable. It was nice. Um, you always... Uh, uh, anytime you work with someone again, there's always a, um, a sense of... Uh, uh, you want to you know, redo a few things that you might not... Yeah. It's not always... Yeah, exactly, and and when it, when we're talking about making a record, it's not only like oh the record didn't turn out good. It's it's not it's not that Meliora wasn't great. It was just that practically when you make records, there are so many ways you can make it more efficient. So there was a lot of that that we wanted to make better than we did on Meliora, and I think we did. And uh, Andy Wallace is always always a a pure joy to work with. He's the the most Gentle, legend. gentleman, the most so so extremely talented and and uh, cool. Which is your favorite instrument to give birth to an idea for a new song? Where do you start from? Bass, I start guitar, with the, no, I start with a, a different instrument almost every song. Okay. So it, it's it's never one go to, uh, but what usually makes a song for me that that makes it special is the vocal melodies. Without oh, okay. the vocal melodies, the song is sort of like it needs to have a hook. It needs to have a, 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 a because I I'm I just don't I'm not. It's incredible how much this sounds. What the fuck are they doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a mess. A complete mess. Um, I when I'm at home myself, I can get a hard on just listening to certain sounds. But I don't get that when I'm making music myself. It needs to have a hook. It needs to have a point. It cannot just be a background. It needs to have a story. Yeah. So for me, the vocals is always the thing that makes it alive. Yeah. So. Why, when it comes to compose and arrange a song, which are your criteria to choose the people to collaborate with? I mean, I am personally in love, thanks to you, with Vargas and Lagola's way of doing music. Right. Um, with the, the people that I have, I have worked with, it's very much a chemistry thing. <laughs> you know, you work well, uh, you have fun together. Um, and and it, it's kind of... Collaboration with people is not to be taken for granted. Yeah. You know, because you can't really look at someone's resume and just like, oh, I'm gonna work well with this person. It's like saying like, oh, that's a beautiful girl. Yeah. In my case, then if I uh, get together with her, we, we will have a wonderful child. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. You know, it's all about chemistry. It's all about... Um, Synergy. Yeah, and, 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 and building something. And I, you know, I, I've tried to, uh, I have meetings, I've tried to work with some people that are just like, It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, but with with uh, Vargas and Lagola, it works really well. Every time we we get into the room, we have a lot of fun, 
and uh, any time I bring an idea to them, I know that we're gonna uh, we're gonna sort of mold it into something really good. So I feel always good about working with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do the Italian bands DFSS and Devil Doll mean for you? Devil Doll definitely has a uh, has an extremely special place in my heart because of uh, because it's so fantastically fucking good, yeah. um, and uh, also it, it, it's um, they were so they he I guess yeah. he <laughs> wrote so much unique. I mean, you you could sort of call it, you know, it's, it's like, a, like a dark gothic Marillion, if you will. Yeah. Uh, but it's such a journey, and I started listening to Devil Doll when I was like 14, 15. So it's, they were always, or the, the, especially, I, I started listening to Devil Doll when, when uh, DSCRA came out. Yeah. Um, and that record, I think that is my favorite just because that was my first and then I started exploring the others. Um, yes, I must have been 15. I think it came out in 1996. Um, so that has always been very inspiring for me. I always found the, the vibe and the whole aesthetics to be extremely cool. Very inspiring. Such a crazy universe to be in. Uh, he seems to be playful in the same way that I want to be playful. You know, Maybe I'm playful some, somewhat because I listen to Devil Doll. Um, obviously, Death Has This is a little bit more of a traditional sort of yeah. rock metal band. Uh, I've always been very fascinated with their image and uh, and their uh, the totality of their career has been um, inspiring. Um, yeah, and I you know I've, I've I've been fascinated with with the stuff around of yeah. them as well, like with Paul Chain and all that. And has always been there. There's an air of, I think that there are several bands here from Italy that has that sort of ambiance of, of um, I don't know what to call it. There's like this uh, aura, the the aura of uh, of um, Catholic horror. Yeah. Uh, which you like, sort of like see in the movies, like, like horror yeah, movies, yeah, like Lucio Fulci and Bava and all these film filmmakers, and the music that a lot of people wrote for that, that it sort of lives on through Devil Doll, Death SS, Mortuary Drape, Jacola, yeah, um, Jacola, yeah, yeah. And, and and oh, a lot of Prague. I listen to so much old Italian Prague, yeah. um, but you hear that sort of there's a certain vibe. That is very uh, cemeterian, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I like that. What would uh, Tobias be doing today if Ghost wouldn't have become what they became? Music, anything else, acting, movies? Oh, that's a good idea. Good, uh, good question. I mean, uh, before Ghost had any success, I wasn't really doing anything successful. Okay, I was. Uh, I was doing bands and, and uh, I mean, Ghost would have, I would have continued doing Ghost, but if it hadn't had any In success, um, I don't know if that was your question, if it hasn't, if it didn't exist at all, or if it, if it, it didn't have any success. Yeah, the second, if, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like a, a, a normal underground band. Possibly. I don't know what it would have become, but in the, originally I didn't have any intention for it to be a big commercial band like this. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it would have stayed that way, and, and, um, but I'm not sure if I would have had the same... You, you're asking me about other ventures yeah, in terms yeah. of like film or yeah. theater and all that stuff. I don't know if I would have had the same... Or even a day job, everything. Yeah, I mean, if, if Ghost was not successful, I would have been forced to have a day job. Yeah. And if Ghost was not successful, I'm not sure if I would have given, been given a lot of these chances that I potentially might have to explore my other interest in film or in yeah. acting. Or, or I mean, I'm not doing that much anyway, but 
but now obviously my with my position with the ghost obviously my 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 um, opportunities to do other things is has greatly expanded yeah, yeah of course <laughs> so um, but it's so hard to 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 speak hypo hypo yeah, like, about what, like what, what if like uh, par parallel uh, yeah. present time <laughs> parallel universes exactly it's just an uh, hypothesis <laughs> but remember i mean when ghosts happened when ghosts sort of broke through i was 29 years old yeah and i was not very successful before that so i was on my way to become a completely normal unsuccessful wannabe musician yeah <laughs> so i was this close to remaining that yeah so I'm very uh, respectful of that. Which final message and greeting would you send out to the Italian fans of Ghost? Mm. I'm just glad to be back. I'm sorry that it took us so long and I'm, I'm sorry that we're not here more frequently. Um, it is what it is, unfortunately, but I'm glad that we're here today. <laughs>